Hello discussion leader. I am coming to you to offer some expectations, tips, and some pointers on your uh, the opportunity that you have in the coming week to lead a discussion for our class. I'm sure you're ecstatic at this opportunity and so I thought I would point you in a, a general direction to help you get started here. Now I put together this little slide here. Um, one of the first things that you ought to do when you're preparing to lead a discussion is that you should read and annotate the lesson's essay so that you know the content of what you'll be talking about throughout the week. The second thing you should do is uh, after you've done that write a discussion prompt of at least 200 words in which you address some aspect of the reading assignment. Now this should be something that's interesting to you or that it, it should pertain to the lesson's objectives. Now that's important because you'll be discussing it throughout the week and it should be something that stimulates your thinking and that can stimulate the thinking of the class especially as regards the things that will be talking about. Now where can you find the lesson objectives? If you go to the course itself you can find that in the uh, the start here document in each lesson you will find this document that will outline the objectives for the week here it comes computers being a little finicky right at this second but here we go see the lesson outcomes you'll find the in each start here document you'll find three or not necessarily three goals but you'll find the goals for each lesson keep those in mind as you put as you're putting your discussion together and that can help you kind of give a general direction of what you should be thinking about what you should be writing your discussion prompt about now another place where you can look for ideas of what your discussion prompt can can or should look like are in the Discussion 101 presentation. I've posted a link to this in the Discussion Board Leader sign up. You'll see right here. Click on that. It will take you to this page here. And then about seven clicks in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the page that is most relevant to you. You could listen to the whole thing, review the whole thing again, but seven clicks in, seven pages in is about. Um, leading a discussion so it will be I think most relevant to you uh, especially take some time to look through the suggestions that they give here that she gives these uh, thought-provoking questions or situations now provocative question brings up this just mouse over you can read through that in your own time I won't read through it for you because I trust that you're smart enough to read on your own but this can give you some good ideas of where you can begin, of how you can begin to frame the discussion in a way that will be interesting to yourself and to your peers and that can draw some, well that can help you spark an interesting discussion and can help you better connect with your peers during the course of the discussion. Now once you have written your discussion prompt I would like you to send that to me as an attachment in the email and I'd like to review that before you post it. Please post that to me um, early enough that you can have your, that I can give some feedback to you and that you can be ready to post by, can post to your discussion space by midnight Monday. So just keep that in mind as you're preparing. Now you should also remember to post frequently throughout the week. You should check in daily so that you can respond to your peers. This will be a little different than just participating in the discussion because you will be leading the discussion. Now when you participate you should respond at least three times but when you are leading a discussion it should be more than that I think. You should check in on more than three days, check in daily so that you can respond to questions so that you can um, ask questions of your peers that will help them to gain deeper insights into the discussion etc etc now my main suggestion in all of this here at the bottom is that you find ways to open the discussion instead of closing it off a really great way to open the discussion is to ask a question or to try and make connections between what other people have said you could for instance say so and so has said this here so and so has said this down here now how can we bring these ideas together what about this um, kinds of things like that will help you to open the discussion instead of closing it off. Ways that you could close it off or, or by saying things like, oh, I really like that, that's awesome, and then leaving it at that. It's okay if you say, oh, that's really awesome, I like this, but you should follow that up with um, something that will provoke 
additional discussion. So anyway, this is kind of just a brief run through of my expectations and some tips for discussion leadership in the course. If you have any questions, please do feel free to let me know. My inbox is always open.